so you probably clicked on this video right and you're like this guy's dumb this guy doesn't know what he's talking about he has no idea what the NFL is like um I want to put into perspective this I love Chris McCaffrey he's been part of our franchise for so long now who can't love him and I'm sad he's gone but I also think that there's a little bit of a wall that you have to break through when you trade a player like that and the Panthers seem to do it against the Buccaneers so if you have a guy like Christian McCaffrey you want to get the ball in his hands right so what are you gonna do design plays that go to him and every single time you know you hope he makes a play well the quarterbacks start to rely on him to dump it off and make a miss and then get a first down that doesn't always happen and it really hasn't been happening for a little while now so what what happens your game plan goes to shit basically you don't have a game plan after that so what happens when you trade him away guess what you have to build a new game plan a game plan that you have to distribute the ball to other players who you know don't have the big name like Christian McCaffrey so what do you do you throw to DJ Moore, you throw to Tommy Tremble, you throw to Ian Thomas, you throw to Shai Smith, you throw to Terrence Marshall Jr. You know, you throw to all these different guys while still handing it off to Chuba Hubbard and Deontay Foreman while letting them get rest because you're not going to keep one guy on the field all the time who's just constantly going and going and going. Your running backs are con consist consistently fresh. So I think Christian McCaffrey was part of the reason the Panthers would lose because the offensive coordinator and the coach would put all the weight on his back. He would always get the ball and he'd have to, he'd feel like he has to do everything for the Panthers and he doesn't. He shouldn't have to. You should be able to throw the ball to other people and, you know, have a good offense around Chris McCaffrey, not Chris McCaffrey and then the offense. So will I be proved wrong in the upcoming weeks that we're just going to crumble and fall apart? probably it always happens i get hope in this team after a win and then i you know lose hope but that's my take on this now do i think the panthers are going to come back next week and be much better no we had pj walker will pj walker start i have no clue i don't know what steve wilkes is thinking but i do know that this team is rallying around steve wilkes and I, I think Steve Wilkes is making everyone fight for the starting job. So you might see people lose their starting jobs. Like C.J. Henderson. He might lose his starting job because he's been playing awful. And also, you know, guys like Damian Wilson and them, they might lose their starting job. So this doesn't mean that, you know, the Panthers are only winning because Christian McCaffrey's gone. It means, you know, Steve Wilkes might be doing a great job. But... Also, I think the offensive part of it is they have to get the ball around to other people, so they have to come up with a more skilled game plan, not just hand the ball to Chris McCaffrey and see what he can do. So thank you for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and leave your comments down below on what you think the take, how good do you think this take was. If you think it was terrible, tell me. And also, there's a Discord that's in the description that has you know a place where you can get links to any live NFL game if you don't have NFL Sunday ticket. And also, where you guys can just talk and hang out. So, peace.